This video shows you how to reprogram your Hymer Active solar controller so that it can't charge the Ecotrek batteries. Uh, the, the goal is to get both the charge voltages below 12 volts, which is lower than the uh, Ecotrek will accept, so that's fine. So I'm going to start off from scratch. This is the MT50. I'm going to disconnect it from the system, reconnect it. That's just for everyone. If they have it this way, they can start off with the same place that I'm starting off with. But in any case, if you can bring it up to this screen, you're good. This is the monitor screen. I'm going to hit escape. Use the down arrow to go to control panel parameter and hit the enter button. I'm going to hit the enter button again. It's going to ask for the password. The password is a bunch of zeros, so I hit enter again without doing anything else, and I'm now unlocked. I'm going to change by going to the down button, the t battery type from, used, uh, from user to flooded, and I'm going to hit enter again. It's going to say save, and I save that. Now I did that because now we all have our units programmed the same way for this video. So I'm going to hit it again, the OK button again, flooded is now highlighted again. I'm going to use the up arrow and return it back to user. So that effectively reset the unit and I'm now saved successfully. So the parameters have to be changed in a particular order uh, so that the values make sense. And so I'm going to use the up arrow and go to the very bottom of the list. So I went up, it goes to the bottom of the list, and I'm now going to hit OK again. It's going to change the equalized time. The equalized time must always be set to zero on all Ecotrek systems because equalizing ruins lithium batteries. So I'm going to go down arrow, and I let change the one to a zero. I'm going to go over to the right, and then go down arrow, down arrow again. I've now set the equalized time to zero. I hit OK, it says save, and I save. I'm now going to use the up arrow to go to the previous screen. The discharge limit is set to 10.6, that's fine. The low voltage disconnect, 11.1, that's fine. For your convenience, I'm going to kind of make from 11.1, use that number again. So 11.1, I'm going up screen. So under voltage, I need to lower that. So I hit enter. I go right, 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 right. And now I want to set this. Uh, it was 11.1 over there, so I need to set this to 11.2 because each number has to be higher than the other. So I sing this to 11, 2. I hit OK, save, good. Now I hit Enter again. The next number is 12, that's no good. I need to say change it to 11, 3. nothing special about these numbers but they just have to be below 12 but you have to do them in a certain order so please follow this way there are other numbers that are okay so now we just use 11.3 I go up arrow again to go to the next screen I go hit okay again then go right 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 make this 11, right key, I'm going to set this one to 11, 4, 11, 4, OK, save, hit enter again, I'm going to make this one, 11, Save, go up, the 
this one to eleven six. I do the next one wrong on purpose one time just so you can see that you really can't go too wrong so I hit enter again I'm gonna set boost to 11 I'm gonna do accidentally make it 10 10 4 I hit enter and it says parameter error because boost has to be higher than float I go, oh, that was a mistake. It set it back to the original number, and I try again. So I'm going to make it be 11. Go over to 7. Up, arrow, 7. Save. Go up, arrow again. Hit Enter. this to 8 the remaining numbers are not charge voltages so I don't care about them they won't harm so I'm gonna go escape but then hit enter again and we're just gonna review the battery's user type battery amp hours is 70 go down minus 3 and 12 we haven't changed those over voltage 16 charge limit 15 over voltage 15 equalization charge now that's a charge number so now it's below 12 at 11 8 boost voltage 11 7 float voltage 11 6 Boost restore or boost something rather is 11.5. Low voltage reconnect is 11.4. Uh, under voltage is 11.3. Under voltage warning 11.2. Low voltage uh, disconnect 11.1. And disconnect a uh, discharge limit is 10.6. And the equalization time is set to zero. Boost time, which doesn't matter because the voltage is so low, but I left it at 120. And then we're back to the top again. I'm going to press OK one more time. Whoops, sorry. I'm going to press Escape and Escape, and we're good. And there we've done it.